Assalamu alaikum. Hi. I hope everyone will be fine. I am Hussein Bermansha, and today we will be studying karyotyping. And it is an interesting, a, a bit difficult topic, but uh, the slides are very good, so you will find it a helpful material. So, cytogenetics is the study of structure and properties of chromosomes. So, chromosomal behavior during mitosis and meiosis, chromosomal influence on the phenotype and the factors that cause chromosomal changes. So, all these things, when we study it, we call it cytogenetics. Okay. So, karyotyping is a technique in which we analyze chromosome and it also known as karyotyping or cytogenetic, cytogenetic analysis. Karyo means you can understand like eukaryotic and uh, prokaryotic which means uh, carry means nucleus so when we analyze chromosomal chromosome so that is called karyotyping or cytogenetic analysis and it is a very a valuable technique because uh, due to this we are able today to understand and to know the genetic disorders like syndromes, uh, Down syndrome, and etc. etc. So, what happened? Uh, determine the chromosome complement within cultured cell. It is performed on G banded chromosomes. So, there are some uh, in a chromosome when we uh, dye it, there are some G bands and it is divided into band. So, we will study it uh, afterwards. A band is defined as the part of a chromosome which is clearly distinguishable from its adjacent segments by appearing darker or lighter after staining. You must remember that. So the chromosomes are visualized as consisting of a continuous series of light and dark bands. So dark bands have uh, that part of chromosome which is uh, a bit condensed and have uh, compact DNA. While well, light bands have a, a relaxed DNA, which uh, which is uh, easily replicable, so you can say that chromatin, euchromatin, and uh, that stuff. Okay, so chromosome number and gross structure are determined, and deletion, insertion, duplication can be detected after this analysis. Moving on, karyotyping technique can help the affected families like down syndrome and etc so to rule out the classical chromosomal syndromes like down syndrome sorry to determine individuals with multiple congenital uh, sorry i pronounce it a bit wrongly congenital disease present from birth anomalies etc in parents of siblings a brother or sister with chromosomal abnormalities in all children of individuals with balanced or structural anom anomalies uh, in couples with histories of two or more fetal losses uh, in abortuses immature placental or fetal and malfun malformed stillborn infant born dead so all these are genetic disorders and these can be analyzed by karyotyping technique individual with ambiguous genitalia and mental retardation females with amenorrhea uh, pubertal failure in males and females individuals with hematological disorders and individuals exposed to carcinogens and radiation which cause some mutation in them so these all can be analyzed through karyotyping so how so how it, it is done first we prepare the chromosome for karyotyping so how we prepare it we took a tissue sample or some add chemicals to stimulate mitosis we add first we take a tissue sample so then we add some chemicals to stimulate mitosis after that so it it become a culture in a growth medium so so medium is provided media is provided for the growth and uh, tissue is added uh, chemical which initiate or stimulate mitosis is also added so now incubated for two three days so the 
culture will grow. Add chemical to stop mitosis in metaphase. So now after two three days, we will add some chemicals which retard or stop uh, growth. So it will be in met metaphase. So after that, transfer cells to tube and centrifuge to concentrate in layers. So we will transfer it to tube and centrifuge. So we get uh, cells, or you can say we get different layers of uh, concentrate, which will have different uh, different kind of cells and chromosome. So we will further analyze it on a uh, on a uh, on a what it is called microscopic slide to uh, observe on a microscope. So transfer to tube containing fixative. Fixative means that, okay, I will tell you later, but uh, I, I think fixative means is which fix this chromosome, which fix this chromosome to a, uh, to a place so it can not move after that and we can easily uh, see it. So I'll report cell onto microscopic slide and add stain to enhance chromosomes so staining is there is because to Im improve the visual appearance identify and photograph chromosomes and now identify and photograph the chromosomes and we will get cut out chromosome pictures and arrange into keratin uh, if you can see the in the bottom of left side that there is very arranged uh, chromosome uh, we can see but it doesn't appear that, like that we have some softwares in which we arrange them we know that this kind of uh, uh, chromosome is for uh, chromosome number one so we arrange it after that we will not find uh, that kind of photograph directly from the slide we will have to make it by putting on the right place the chromosomes okay so these are done by some uh, softwares so you can see that we will need <coughs> sorry we will need these uh, things uh, for uh, one is an uh, incubator uh, CO2 incubator and another laminar air flow because to avoid contamination so coming to methodology I think uh, I will make I have given a complete um, overview of the uh, over with the topic the method we will talk about the method only in next video because it is getting very uh, very lengthy and you will get more I know that so please uh, subscribe to my channel subscribe my channel and uh, share it with your friends and if you like it please uh, give a thumb and if you want some other topics related to biotechnology biochemistry microbiology and uh, this kind of uh, immunology and etc. So you please ask in the comment box, uh, comment comment section. I will, inshallah, make uh, videos for you, and uh, I will make some good and very uh, very helpful slide for you. Thank you, and please appreciate my uh, my effort, and please subscribe it and share it with your friend. Thank you.